Moreover, the more successful a capitalist society is, the better. Industrial development, mechanical improvement, all of the great wonders of the modern age have done relatively little for the people at the very top of the income scale. Modern plumbing didn't mean a thing to the really wealthy people in ancient Rome. They had running water. It was carried in the hands of servants, but it was running. It didn't do them any good to be able to turn a tap. Television, radio that has brought what some people regard as entertainment to millions of others. <laughs> the patricians in Roman society, they could hire and get the best artists in their society to come into their homes for them. No, the great achievements and improvements of Western capitalism have redoubted primarily to the benefit of the ordinary man in the street. They have primarily made available to the masses the luxuries that before that were available only to the classes. In 1848, John Stuart Mill, great English economist and philosopher, in a book called The Principles of Economics, wrote, and I quote, Hitherto, he wrote, it is questionable if all the mechanical inventions yet made has lightened the day's toil of any human being. They have enabled a greater population to live the same life of drudgery and imprisonment and an increased number of manufacturers and others to make fortunes. They have increased the comforts of the middle classes, but they have not yet begun to effect those great changes in human destiny which it is in their nature and in their futurity to accomplish. Nobody could say that today had not lightened the day's toil of any human being, you will travel from one end to the other end of the prosperous countries like the United States, where capitalism has brought mechanical invention, and the only people you will find engaging in hard day's toil are those who are doing it for sport.